Hi there, Rory from Data Spinners here and today I'm going to talk to you about the fill property which you're going to use if you do much on Power Apps. So let's just dive straight in. We have got an app here. Uh, the very first thing you can see actually there's it's completely blank. So we can do things like, um, I, I tend to just use things like red. Um, and it's quite simple to use it like that. You can do, so long as you know your RGBAs, then you know you can effectively, you can click on here and actually pick a color. And I think the, yeah, you can see that it's set in an RGBA. Um, and the opacity is set with this here. So um, it, it works, um, I, I don't, to be honest, use the RGBA too much. Um, but let's just, um, so so we've got something there anyway. Um, so here's another thing you can use it on. So we'll go insert a button. And so the button's got a fill property and we're gonna look at the fill property here. It's an RGBA here, but we can set it to a blue if we want to, or a green. Um, obviously if it's an RGBA, you can, you can do you know more clever things to it so um so you can maybe have uh do you know what? i'm not going to do that i'm going to do um insert a button but this time we're going to look at the um the fill property and you can maybe put some um global variables in there so i'm not really sure what this is here but let's do i'm going to insert a button here uh button over here um and on select um set uh g v um well it's, i guess it must be r um to be g v r plus i don't know i don't know how much it goes up to about thirty say um so what that will do is if we put in GVR here, I guess that must start us off at zero. And then theoretically, each time we click on this, it's gonna keep changing that along. That's quite cool, that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, and, and obviously you can you could do it the other way around, so, um, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, so uh, we've looked at that. You can, you know, obviously when you put in, um, when you put any kind of label in, it's going to have, you could have a, if you look at this, you've got the RG, uh, actually it's the fill property, because that's what we're doing. You can see it's got an RGBA of 0000, um, and that's basically uh, completely blank. It's, um, you know, it's it's clear. Um, and so you can see how that uh, feeds into it. And essentially most things within, um, within, Power apps, a, a vast amount of the objects have got um, fill properties to them. So um, let's just do uh, pop another little thing in here. So we'll put in a, just a, some kind of random gallery um, and then it'll pop things. You can see the label there. Well, that's going to have a fill. I'm just going to move this about a little bit actually. I'm uh, going to grab that, move it around there. The whole gallery will have a fill property. So we go fill and you can see it's got. Um, you, you can see that it's got a, a clear property, but we could make it red. Um, and uh, and you can also do things where you, um, depending on, on certain values, you can make the background change. That's quite effective if you've got statuses of different items, um, obviously not connected to a data set at the moment, but, uh, but the idea would be that um, Maybe you'd have, um, you know, different statuses like submitted, uh, approved, in query, and maybe submitted would be um, amber, and approved would be green, and query would be red or something like that. So you, you can you can use it uh, in that way. So there you have it. Um, thanks for watching. It's supposed to be a, just a light touch session. So um, hope you found it useful. Thank you. Bye.